ang pinaka-depresyo para sa akin yung hope. Ngayon na meron kaming nakalap na funds, parang hopeful yung aming grupo na meron kaming pagkikitaan. Ang isa sa mga magandang nagawa ng Maria para sa aming grupo ay ang linkage. Linkage sa, aming isa, sa isa't isa sa aming poblasyon mismo at linkage din sa outside tulad ng sa, sa Congress ngayon na pinuntahan namin sa, sa, sa Department of Agriculture. Na... Kung paano po ano, pinahalagahan yung mga kababaihan? Yung para bang in-empower in, in, in po yung mga kababaihan na matutong magnegosyo din po at saka uh, matutong makipaglaban sa anumang klaseng pagsubok sa buhay. A woman, uh, hindi lang sa bahay lang, kundi tumulong din sa kanilang mga asawa. Yung mga kabay na nakita ko parang naka alert na kanyang ah, hindi ka na. Oh, nang kamulat siya. Before sa Maria, sa bahay lang ako, nag asikaso sa mga anak, naglalaban, naglilinis. Uh, capital build up namin, ginawin namin ng micro lending. Pwede sila maka loan sa amin ng 1,000. Pwede pwede rin sila utang pag wala silang bigas. Yung napakinabangan namin, yung paano mag-manage ng pagtitinda, paano ka magkaroon ng ginansya, yung ano, pagtitipid po. Uh, bilang isang babae, bilang isang asawa, uh, sa bahay lang po, nag-aalaga ng bata, talagang natuto na po kaming lumabas, natuto na rin po kami magpapaganda, at saka natuto na rin po kami magnegosyo. Mas ngayon, mas naging malakas ng loob ko na talagang may magawa. At noon, naisip ko na sana ko magpunta. Ngayon, meron akong alam na meron talagang magpupuntahan. Noon, nagtitinda lang po ako na i-house to house ko yung ano ko, tinda ko, yung gulay. Sa ngayon po, mayroon na kaming merkado, doon na lang ako nagtitinda at naghihintay na lang po kami ng mga customers. Ako lang yung father and mother ng mga anak ko po. Ilan uh, na ang patay ang asawa mo? 10 years na po. Uh, mas empowered na ako ngayon. <laughs> Kinakaya ko yung mag, ano, leader ng mga sabay na mariscarage. Yun ako. Kaya in-encourage ko yun sila. Mahuwag, huwag problemahin yan. Uh, mayroon tayong kaya, kakayahan. We first take a quick helicopter ride. The birth of the Women Empowerment Project happened quite by accident. Or, perhaps it was destiny. In 2006, an organization of overseas Filipinos, or OF, Vereniging Damayang Pilipino sa Netherland, won the Migrant Idea Contest of the Oikos SMS Cordade. They decided to use the reward money to reach out to organized women in a very poor town in Mindanao, Philippines. They called the project Maria Goes to Town. Local NGO JEP ran a survey and selected Magsaysay in Misamis Oriental Province. JEP trained the women to run a stall in the market. It was such a resounding success that in 2008, it gained recognition from the Asia-Pacific Philanthropy Consortium and the Institute of Migration in Geneva. The project won a Migration and Development Best Practice Award in Brussels, encouraging the Mayan to propose an expansion with a new name, Maria for Millennium Development Goals, or M4M. Training expanded to include cooperative development and entrepreneurship. The EC Joint Migration and Development Initiative approved the expansion into five more towns. A new local NGO, HEPNID, came in, covering the south, while JEP covered the north. Two international NGOs came in, ERCOF, which brought in rural banks for credit, and COS Utrecht which brought in sister EU local governments and overseas Filipinos as investors. Local governments in the six sites were then harnessed as development partners to give counterpart funds, logistic and technical support, and policy and resource linkages with national government agencies and with Congress. The Wheel of Fortune began as a tiny seed which is now promising to be a giant tree.
In M4M, there are six villages in four provinces of Mindanao. Magsaysay, Claveria, and Alubihid in Misamis Oriental Province. Bansalan and Davao del Sur. Mlang in North Cotabato. And Dumingag in Zamboanga del Sur. What you'd like to do is, hindi mo na palalimin, hindi umatras ng konti, tapos pag-aralan, pag-isipan pa, is it sustainable? Kasi it's still work in progress. I mean, it looks like uh, an emerging uh, best practice. It's an investment on human development. We would like as much as possible for the women's clubs to run on its own steam. Yesterday, four or five women from Mindanao was never stepped into the halls of Congress. Went to the Department of Agriculture, and I heard that they were able to get a commitment for a tractor. Parang magic. So they conducted four uh, orientations, and I heard within just that four months that they operate sila, they got about 20 million in added remittances. What was interesting is that the LGU counterpart increased to more than 50 percent, and you would notice na walang nalulugi. Ranging from 12 to about 50 percent ROI per month. Kahit na low ang income na Bansalan, you would notice that Bansalan has the highest CPU uh, contribution, 41,000. The income generated by the women project participants are not that big, but these amounts have provided food on their family's table. We shared our problems with each other. Our loads lightened. Whereas before we were nothing, now we are sick. We'll never go hungry again. We have rice right under our noses. Cash or credit. I learned a lot about many things. Seems like I've been to college. My husband was impressed. I try not to miss a training or meeting. It's my only relaxation. Now I know that cash from our co-op must have a voucher and money received must have a receipt. That way, no money is lost. Isn't that awesome? We women have deepened our relationship. We're now more supportive of one another. It's my husband now who asks me in the morning where I am going. He shares a lot of the housework now. We are recognized and supported by LGUs and other agencies. Imagine that. I've learned a lot from GST. We women have human rights and must be treated well. Bisang unsang problema, kaya na tooy. I'm not just a housewife now, I'm also a businesswoman. Before Hapnid came into the picture, we ate root crops when we ran out of rice. Since our rice trading business started, our rice container has never been empty. Some of our women have been elected barangay councilor. While ang mga farmers namin galing sa Bumdok nagbibinta ng raw materials from abaca, in isang grupo ng kababaihan silang bumili sa raw materials at ginawa nilang handicraft ko sa ang loob kaming uh, sumali sa partnership kasi nagkita namin na malaki ang may tulong for women empowerment sa Dumingan. Tinulungan ko sila in terms of uh, technical support, capacity building at saka organization. Actually, I'm inter interested in the project because it focuses on, on the women. I visited the, the sites where they have implemented the projects and I met them and they, they inspired me so much. Kami po ay umaasa na sana ay makakarating din po sa amin ang mga Muslim communities namin doon. Ito sa mga programa nga ipakita yun nga dilit ang kababayanan priority yun sa mga lalaki. Para kahit babae lang kami, kami ay naririnig. One thing very concrete, we got some fundings from our congressman, Bambi Imano. That's one very concrete thing that we're going to bring home and I'm very, very thankful. More than 90% of our people live in low public education. Uh, may have a in the truth that 
ya, maraming pulo bisa sa kanila mas maraming pulo bisa amin uh, tingin ko hindi mananalo sa amin itong mga mayong mga sama ko because <laughs> according to NSCB uh, we are 97.5% sa poverty threshold, no? Hindi pinapalakpakan niya, huwag niya pinapalakpakan. <laughs> ang sayan sa Buwaga del Norte as the poorest in the entire country. Hindi pa nakapasok ang Maria sa amin. And I hope that it will be uh, pustro ang uh, pag-organize ng Maria. Uh, Nakuha nga, mawa signing na itong pupuntahan ko. Ang, ang Maria po is a good foundation for women. Ano po? So, natutuwa ako kanina sa isang Maria from Dominga who shared na empowered sila. Ang dami nilang produkto. So, sana nawa, uh, Sayat will be one of the beneficiaries in the coming days. Bye. 